friends welcome to kishore's neat padasala in this video you will see the concept of young's modulus young's modulus is indicated by the letter y which is equal to longitudinal stress divided by longitudinal strain so we know that the stress formula is equal to force by area and strain formula is change in the original quantity change in the quantity divided by original quantity so stress is nothing but force by area strain is change in the quantity by original quantity so this is a dimensionless and unitless quantity and force by area unit is nm power minus 2 or pascal so we can say that young's modulus has same unit as that of stress and pressure okay and in the previous video we have learned that stress by strain is a constant which is nothing but this constant is the young moduli of elasticity that is young's modulus so young's modulus is equal to stress by strain so this strain i am bringing to this side so stress is equal to y into strain this i am comparing with the equation y is equal to m into x so along the y axis i take stress along the x axis i take strain and, and slope is the Young's modulus. So slope is nothing but Young's modulus. So see that. For example, let us take this question. So stress along y axis, strain along x axis. So with here the slope of one is theta and here it is theta to the angle along x axis. So tan theta of one is greater than tan theta of 2 which is nothing but m1 is greater than m2 slope is nothing but Young's modulus so Young's modulus of 1 is greater than Young's modulus of 2 why since slope of 1 is greater than slope of 2 okay okay now the, let us see this question which of the following has greater Young's modulus so for a wire it is theta 1 for b wire it is theta 2 along x axis so y is equal to stress by strain so stress is equal to y into strain so y is equal to m into x here stress is along y axis so stress x along x axis we have strain slope is the Young's modulus so theta 1 tan theta 1 is greater than tan theta of second wire so Young's modulus of a is greater than Young's modulus of b okay so a has greater young's modulus more ductile means which has more plastic deformation region so this has a wire has more plastic deformation region so a is more ductile which is more brittle means one which has very less platform plastic deformation region so here there is no plastic deformation region so b is more brittle which is more strong ultimately we can see here that a wire it it only withstand more stress more stress it is withstanding so a is more strong now let us see the properties of Young's modulus it does not depend on dimensions that is it does not depend on length area and it does not also depend on force sorry stress and strain and it depend on material around so it varies for different material next it depend on impurities and temperature so as temperature increases Young's modulus decreases very very important relation in the last of this video we will see a numerical based on this concept next Young's modulus is applicable only for solids and Young's modulus is nothing but stress by strain so force by area into delta L by L for a perfectly rigid body we cannot increase its length so delta L is 0 so if we substitute here delta L is 0 so Young's modulus is infinity. So Young's modulus for a perfectly rigid body is infinite. Next, larger the Young's modulus value, more it is elastic in nature. For Young's modulus of steel is greater than Young's modulus of rubber. So only steel is more elastic than rubber. Next, what effect of annealing? First, let us see what is annealing. Annealing is nothing but heating and cooling gradually so effect of annealing is so what is annealing it is heating and cooling gradually 
so if you do annealing young's modulus it decreases okay now let us see one bridge is there okay its thickness is d it due to its own weight it is showing one bend whose modulus is d so bending d is equal to w l cube so l is the whole length of the bridge by 4y b d cube so double bending is proportional to l cube bending is the, the inversely proportional to young's modulus bending is inversely proportional to d cube and it is a previous year question application also now let us see this question see here strain is along y axis stress is along x axis so we know that y is equal to stress divided by strain since strain is along the x axis i am taking strain here strain is equal to stress into y 1 by y so comparing with the equation y is equal to m into x along y axis i took strain in the question it is given like this along y axis strain along x axis stress is given so now young slope is nothing but inverse of young's modulus slope is inverse of young's modulus so here we see that let us take for the same wire it is given slope at for the same wire they have given two lines okay here slope of 1 see slope of 1 is greater than slope of 2 directly we can see this is theta 1 this is theta 2 slope of 1 is greater than theta 2 here we know that slope is inversely proportional to young's modulus for this question so slope of so young's modulus of 2 is greater than young's modulus of 1 as slope is inversely proportional to young's modulus we know that as temperature increases young's modulus decreases so see that y2 is greater than y1 which means temperature of 1 is greater than temperature of 2 so only as the temperature has increased young's modulus has decreased so temperature has increased so young's modulus has decreased so t1 is greater than t2 so t1 is greater than t2 so a option is the right answer i hope you like this lecture if you like this lecture please subscribe kishore sneet paadasala thank you